Hi all, so in this video I'm going to go through per point adjustments. So this allows you to do control things like friction and mass and damping, initial velocity, all that kind of stuff on a per point basis. So it's all very mash, so you can do it through um, a node interface with um, fall offs and strength and uh, no scripting in sight. So let's just uh, create a new mash network and we will, um, I'm just going to set this up first, so I'll add a uh, volume uh, emitter, well um, I'm going to emit from a volume as it were, and I'm just going to animate the number of points from 1 to say 120, whoops, and like that, then I'll move the emitter as it, just using mash as an emitter, um, up like so, and then um, I add dynamics to this and rewind and play, I get this, fair enough. Okay, so uh, let's add a plane, scale it up, rotate it. And I'm going to go to um, the solver, drag this plane on, double click on it, and then change its collision shape from automatic to infinite plane. Now if, we, if I rewind and play, you get this. So on the MASH network, let's go to dynamics and uh, on top of constraints here and underneath the main body of settings, you've got this per point adjustment. So let's go right click create, which uh, creates a MASH channel random node. And on the channel random node, you can choose the channel you want and then you can start setting some settings. So uh, we're going to use damping first uh, and you want to change the start value from one to zero if you're using damping. Uh, now, if I just press play, um, nothing really has changed but if I set a maximum variance to something like 1.2 uh, you can see that some objects are really slow to move and um, they are very very damp so they will not move and then some are moving more freely so um, that is one example of giving things a uh, different settings per particle settings uh, we can change this to friction and say a minimum of um, zero and a maximum of say seven and you get something like fairly similar so um, you see objects some objects with low friction are rolling and moving much more quickly and then others are not moving very much at all so that would be friction and then I'll show you one more example and that will be um, Initial velocity, so initial velocity, um, let's set a minimum of zero, but a maximum of say um, 20 in the y-axis. Uh, so everything will um, should kind of get a random initial velocity of between zero and 20 in the y, so like that. Um, we can do 30. Um, and then, so you can also have uh, a um, start value as well. So you could say 10 and then everything would everything would have 10 plus this random number, so. Yeah, there you go. So that's um, some uh, kind of initial um, random, uh, random uh, velocity. So uh, let's, I'll show you one more thing. And for this, I'm going to need to change the distribute settings. So let's just um, break that connection and we'll have, um, a linear distribution and we'll have uh, we'll have it in the x-axis and then we'll have a few few points like that so if I just set this off you can see what was, you see the random value that we got there um, so um, over on the channel random let's just change this from 0 to like 20 okay so you get that right so they're actually touching slightly, which is why there was a bit of jumping around then. So um, that's better. So go back to it, Ian. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is done. Okay, like now let's use a fall off object to uh, control this. Uh, so if I put a fall off object in here, in the right in the right place, and now I hit rewind and play, you see the only objects in the, fall, in the inside the fall off area have the effect of the um, channel random. And so fall off objects in combination with these random values, and then strength maps as well if you want, 
and you added a strength map as normal in mesh um, mean that uh, you can create some really cool complex effects pretty quickly so there's nothing to stop you from adding extra channel random nodes so you can have multiple of them so you can keep adding them uh, in the same way you can do with constraints as well um, and so you can very quickly uh, build up some yeah interesting and powerful uh, dynamics sims so hopefully you find that useful